We are live. Welcome to She-Hulk Episode 9 Thoughts. So, this episode is called Whose Show Is This? So, spoilers for the MCU leading up to this point, including this episode. I am not doing the review itself today. I try not to give specific details because I really worry about jinxing, so I'm just going to say that I am doing it very soon. And let's see, there we go. Yeah. So, I. Yeah. I wasn't sure if this was going to be an action packed finale. I'm really grateful that it wasn't. I. Uh, I think Loki Season 1 also didn't. It was a lot of explaining, a lot of telling. But it was, it was still a great finale. But, yeah, I think these are the only two finales of MCU Disney Plus shows where the, yeah, the finale is not action-packed. And, let's see. And, yeah, you know, it fits. There has not been that much action over the course of the show. This isn't really supposed to be an action show. You know, Jen said as much in the first episode. And, yeah, we open on an alternate intro to the show, a satire of the 70s Hulk show. Yeah, absolutely loved it. I honestly was surprised. I had not expected to see the... Ah, what's the word? We Because we saw it in the promotional stuff. This thing of... Ah, what was it called again? The 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 bit where she says, "Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry," and it has the the seventies look. I thought they just made that for fun for promo purposes, but no, that it actually showed up in the show. And yeah, she wakes up in the Blonsky cell, and the. Uh, I'm afraid I forget what her name is, but the, the other lawyer and Pug and Nikki all show up to support her and, you know, part of the, the agreement, you know, yeah, the lawyer is very, she hasn't been like a jerk to She-Hulk, she, you know, there's a little bit of like, She's not necessarily great with people who don't share her privilege of, you know, being very wealthy. Not saying, you know, obviously she did work for it, but yeah, you know, but yeah, she did not turn out to be um, an antagonist for Jen or She-Hulk, which, you know, some people had theorized. And yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I think it was the right choice. But yeah, you know very clearly lays it out, you basically have to take this deal, this is the only way, you know, she can't turn into She-Hulk, so she loses the job, and yeah, th this episode moved very fast, there was a lot of stuff that they really didn't spend very long on, I don't think I really had a problem with it, I really felt like it just, it worked for the show, you know, I wasn't, I was never um, confused about anything, there wasn't anything where I was having trouble keeping up. And we get the scenes from the trailer of press outside her home. And she has to move out of the apartment, back with her parents. And, you know, the the reporters are still trying to fall, you know, they found out where she was going to and, or, or followed her. I don't know which is creepier. You know, when she, when she drove there and, you know, yeah. And the dad gets the, the hose and, like, spraying them. Go, dad. Although, I don't love this thing of, you know, I don't care about the... What, what was it he said? The, the drought or something like that? You know, I've I've got enough water pressure. Something like that. You know, don't, not a huge fan of that kind of, you know, because, really, there's... Droughts are serious. But, anyway, yeah. That's... Yeah, everyone should have a dad that's willing to spray water on journalists to get them off, you know, off his lawn and off her, his daughter's back. You know, and, he, you know, he is true. Like, they're not, they're, they're, they're trespassing, basically. And, you know, 
we find out, you know, the, the mother has changed her old room into, and or not, yeah, she's put exercise stuff in there, and, you know, the, she exercises every day at 7, so, you know, that, yeah, basically, Jen is going to have to get up every morning at, you know, no later than that, even though, you know, she might want to take a little time to, to, you know, I mean, she just lost her job, and she's... Yeah, so so this is not the the time to necessarily force yourself to always be you know up at the exact right anyway, and the you know but yeah we we see her room and she had Erin Brockovich and Legally Blonde posters that really is great that's uh, yeah and Nikki wants Jen to, you know Nikki's like frustrated that Jen okay you want to handle it Jennifer Walters style you know. And the, ah, what's the, right on the tip of my tongue, the, right, the, the video of the dancing, I feel like that's got to be inspired by the, that, that video of AOC dancing, and, you know, it was, it was ridiculous, the way she, you know, she was criticized for that, and it's like, she's just dancing, like, I, you know, you'd have a point if she was, like, doing drugs or something, you know, but she was just dancing, and, and wasn't that after she got the degree? I, f I feel like that was after, like, you're allowed to celebrate when you get a law degree. Th that, you know, it's the culmination of so much hard work, and conservatives were like, ah, just, yeah, ridiculous, but yeah. You know, and obviously, since it's a sitcom, it's exaggerated, so, you know, she's, like, working, I want to say, or trying to, or, or something like that, you know, and you have the, yeah, it's a, it's not quite the same as with AOC, let's just go with that, and, you know, Dennis goes on the news, claims that they dated for quite some time, and says, oh, she was... A psycho even back then and you know it's not really a surprise that he's scummy I, I do appreciate one final like it's it's the ah uh, what's the what's the term it's the it's the cherry on the bullshit Sunday that he has been peddling this entire show so I really like some people don't change some people just keep like this would be imagine Imagine if he took this time to be like, did I, did I help cause this? Am I part of this problem? But no, he, you know, because, because he could have, he could have gone on TV and said, I knew her for years. This is not like her. Clearly she's under, you know, under a lot of stress. I really don't think it's right to be dogpiling her. But no, he's just like, you know, yeah, you know, and, and like, you know, he's like, oh, I dated her for quite some time. She was a psycho then. Then why did you so so you're saying that you were fine with dating a psycho? It's just, I love when misogynists make this and it's just like oh you know this is I'm really gonna make a good point here. You're just admitting that you're a, you know an asshole. Like if if you think that someone needs mental health help, you don't just you know ah oh, you know date like because because you know to the misogynists it's like oh yeah it's it's sex who cares. We're not doing a narrator. We're not at that off the rails. He said, "Come anytime. This is a time. More, more people should be this. Like, yeah, she. This is the time to focus on. Ah, it's right on the tip of my tongue. What is the word? Uh, uh not self help. Self care. I feel like is that. Yeah, you know, she needs to take care of herself." And Emil did say, you know, and, and like when, you know, when, when he spots her there, he's not like, what are you doing? I didn't ask you to come here. You know, he's, he's surprised and obviously, you know, he turned into abomination, which he shouldn't have. But he's not, you know, yeah. Let's see. And Nikki uses the, the college video to get, but, you know, she she does you know sorry for this transgression and and it is like you know friends good friends don't always do what you want them to do what you tell them to do 
sometimes they do what you need them to do. Because Jen wouldn't have done it, and yeah, you know, it did... That was how they found out that Todd was Hulk King. And, you know, yeah, it didn't lead to a big fight, thankfully, because Jen didn't want it that way. But now she can prosecute. You know, that's what they said earlier in the episode. How can I prosecute them if I don't know who they are? You know, and, you know, it's it's a bit, again, exaggerated because, you know, sitcom, sci-fi. But I think there has been some, like, you know, so it has been attempted to try to get, you know, some of the people behind some of the, you know, yeah, some of the websites that this is in, that Intelligentsia is inspired by, and it has been difficult. They've been slippery, and you know that it's a it's a great little you know Nikki's like yes I I got his attention I got the I got the Evite and everything. And then, you know, she's like, oh, right, because it's, you know, can't wait to see you there, bro, because obviously if she shows up herself, you know, there's, yeah, she's not going to get any information out of any of them. They're going to clam up, just, yeah. And so, you know, hey, Pug, a favor, you know, and just, yeah, great. And, you know, he's like... Are you sure I'm not going to be, you know, it's not going to look weird that I'm carrying around, you know, the, the, uh, an earbud. And she's like, you're not going to be the only one. Because <laughs> it's just like, okay, if you're at your workplace, you might need it. 100% support it. But if you're like mingling with people and you got an earbud in, you're, it's, you're not looking great. You're, it's. It's kind of a douche sign, yeah. And, you know, he struggles to pretend to be a misogynist, which was, you know, quite fun. Like, at, you know, he walks in and he's like, back to it, I, I can't do it, I can't do it, you know. And, you know, he walks in, females, am I right? You know, and they're like, and again, like, this is, you realize this is what you look like. Like, it would be so easy if you're, if you know, talking to the misogynists who made content about this show, this very show, you know, you realize how easy it would be to infiltrate. Like, you just have to, you know, appear. Like, it's, it's, you know, the moment that he says that, they're like, they, they, you know, like, they practically applaud. They're, they're so loving. Because all they want is to have someone legitimize their you know, selfish, immature feelings, you know, they don't like certain things, and they like the idea of someone just, yeah, you know, anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, it's like, it's like the Trump voters or something, it, yeah, I guess, not everybody who voted for Trump in 2016, but like MAGA, you know, the, the ones who go absolutely nuts for him, and still, you know, believe he's amazing today, you know, just, Trump just has to say a thing that they kind of like, and they go nuts for it. Nah, yeah, but but yeah, you know when when you know she in in the you know what, like say what was it like um, ah crap uh, um, yeah I uh, I don't remember the exact line. I guess I'm going to just very very quickly see if I can. Fine, so I'm just gonna mute this thing. Oh. Okay, so the. Right, right, the, yeah, um, the, yeah, Todd said, do you think she boned Holloway? Oh, that's, that's their boss. And, you know, and Nikki's like, say yes. Yes. You know, and, and he can barely get it out, because he's like, I mean, uh, from the look on his face, what Puck wants to say is like, that's disgusting, it's none of your business, this, you know, but he, he manages to force out... Yes, 
And Nikki's like, and, and sound mad about it. Yes, and it pushes me off. You know? it's just... it's, and Jen gets no help from the haikus. And yeah, you, you listen to, to the various, you know, intelligentsia, and they, they sound li just like all the misogynists criticizing this show. Like, I don't, I, I'm not sure there's anything that's going to make them feel bad. Obviously, empathy is out of the question. I mean, the show is trying to shame them, so, you know, that's at least... You know, I've, I've always said, if you're trying to get someone to stop doing something that is harmful, start with empathy. Try to figure out why did this happen. Try to, you know, but if empathy doesn't work, yeah, you know, shame and humiliation can can work. We, uh, you know, again, only okay to stop bad behavior. If it's not, if not, if it's not to stop someone from doing something that actually hurts people, do not shame and humiliate people. But yeah, the, the, uh, let's see, there was the, uh, yeah, but I, I don't know, I, I could imagine that this might be some, like, they've literally, I mean, if I understand correctly, this, you know, this episode was filmed, yeah, written, f directed, filmed, you know, a while ago, like, I guess months, maybe, I'm, I'm not 100%, and, you know, I mean, I guess, you know, editing, sure, but, like, this stuff isn't ADR, this was in the script, they, I don't even know if they knew that people would respond to the show like that, or if that's, you know, that just, that makes the point even better, this is literally what the, you know, the villains of the show, the ultimate villains, are the intelligentsia, and they are online misogynists. You know, the, the villains of the show are the people who have been freaking out about the show over misogyny. You know, it's not, and, and I love, they even have that one guy say, it's not that she's a woman, I'd be saying this same thing if it was a man, you know, which just, if you look at it, like the... You know, some of the time, the the thing they'll do with the female character is literally the same as they've done with male characters, and you didn't hear these misogynists freaking out when that was, you know, so just, yeah. And the, let's see, um, but, but yeah, you know, it shows how predictable this has been. This is what happens when a prom, you know, when a woman... You know, in, in the show, it's not about the show, it's about that, you know, in, in, the sh in the fiction of the show, it's the real event of She-Hulk, but it, you know, the show is meta, it's also, you know, you can apply it directly to the criticism of the show, and it's like, how much Bruce Banner Hulk do you need before it's okay to have just some Jennifer Walters She-Hulk. Like, it's it's wild the way that they will freak out over the tiniest little bit. Just, yeah. Now, the yeah, and it's revealed that Todd is Hulk King, which is, you know, some people had guessed that. And Abomination gives a speech. I don't know if... I've seen a couple of videos, and none of them said this, but I can't help but wonder... Like, what I've seen others say is, Emil just didn't look into what are... You know, what is the actual ideology here? What do they believe? He was just told, it's a speaking engagement, it's self-help, you'll, you know, you'll be perfect. But the things that he says does just barely, it, uh, yeah, it does kind of apply to their ideology. And he doesn't, um, let's see, I don't think, we don't see him realizing that he's in, you know, he, he doesn't denounce them. I'm almost 100% certain. So I can't help but wonder if it's not just, you know, he should have done better research, but 
you know, maybe his, like, he's talking about, you know, fight for your goals, improve yourself. Maybe that's not enough by itself. Maybe, you know, you also have to have some ethical boundaries. And, yeah, I mean, considering that that is, I mean, I do really appreciate it. I'm glad that he didn't turn out to be, like, the overall. I think some people had pegged him as being Hulk King, and, yeah, just, that would have been so, just, yeah, I'm really glad that didn't turn out to be the case. But, yeah, the, the, let's see, the, the, yeah, so the, 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 the kind of things that he teaches, yes, Earlier, we've seen that he conducts group therapy. And, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, the people that he had in therapy, were they all villains? I guess maybe not Al Aguilar, but certainly. I, I feel like almost all of them were former villains. And, you know, the, the they do manage to help She-Hulk, but... You know, like I said when I talk in my video about the the episode where they do group therapy, this is this. I mean, I get the sense that a lot of the the people making the show have maybe not group therapy experience, but therapy experience, and they you know they were making some jokes out of that. Not not because they think that group therapy and therapy in general are bad things, but as of just it's something they're familiar with, so it's something they'll they'll joke about, you know. And yeah, I mean, I have to wonder if maybe the you know, some of the idea here is to to point out, you know, yeah, it's it's not it's not enough to approach people who have done wrong things and say you know, if you feel bad about who you are, you know, you gotta, you gotta change that. You gotta get into a position where you do feel good about yourself. You gotta reach your goals. Because literally what he was saying, they were loving it. You know, they, they didn't, yeah, there, there wasn't any, so yeah, I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. Wouldn't be my first time. I do think that the fact that he didn't Stop, like, you know, he, he said to her, I'm sorry that you're upset. And she's like, was there an actual apology in there that I missed? You know, he didn't say, I am not a part of this. I, I you know, I should have done better research, but this was not, you know. And every Hulk shows up for a big fight, and Jen hates this direction. So, you know, she, like, she does more and more fourth wall breaks in a very short amount of, you know, earlier it was like, I, this isn't even, this isn't what the show's supposed to be, I'm just losing everything now, Is do you like this audience, you know, and then, you know, within like a minute she does maybe three or four fourth wall breaks, and yeah, one of the f last ones is, does this, does this work for you, you know, to, to the audience, and you know, the, the presumed viewer stops watching because, yeah, no, this is, this isn't working. This is not, you know, and she's like, okay, that's not going to stop me. And, you know, she changes into Hulk form. And, you know, she's like scrolling through the Disney Plus menu. And she's like, okay, that was, that's not going to work. Well. Oh, there we go. Marvel's Assembled, which, yeah, you know, I forget if we've seen the writer's room for a show. We probably have, you know. But yeah, Marvel's Assembled. I, th You know, they've done on several of the most recent movies. Possibly all of the Disney Plus MCU shows. Um, I'm not sure I can offhand think of one that didn't get one, at least. I might be, you know, misremembering, but yeah. And the... Yeah. You know, so it makes sense. That's how she gets into the writer's room. You know, she literally, like, in the comic books, she would leave, you know, she would use a panel to go from one location to another location. Or she would rip up the page and go to, you know, to talk to the writer. Here we get the the streaming content equivalent. She She's in the streaming content menu. She 
she scrolls through the menu. She's like, no, nah, that's not going to, you know, it's not just press a switch and immediately, no, 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 she's straight up, she is aware, you know, she's, yeah, we've seen her be aware that it's a streaming show, that it's a weekly show, you know, she can tell if the audience, if the show is still happening after events that she thought should be the end of it, you know, but, yeah. And I, I really love the, you know, the bit with, with Daredevil, you know, bring back Mad Murdock, a woman has needs. Hulk smashes enemies. I smash, what was it? I smash the fourth wall, and there was something else, and occasionally Matt Murdock. <laughs> I really appreciate that that's, yeah, just, yeah. And... Yeah, and you know, she goes to the, the writer's room criticizing them. And I don't know about all of them, but at least some of them are real writers. I've seen interviews with these, you know. Cer certainly it would be pretty ridiculous if they had actors playing writers in those interviews just to have them, yeah. And, yeah, now we have gotten as wild as the comic with the fourth wall breaks. And, you know, they talk about, you can't, you can't talk to Kevin. Nobody talks to Kevin, you know, and this whole tiny nitpick, the subtitles, she, um, when She-Hulk says Kevin, it writes out as just Kevin the name. But when the writer said no one talks to Kevin and stuff like that, it had the the you know the abbreviation so every you know all the letters are capital letters and there's a period in front of each so I was like okay so it's not Kevin Feige obviously and yeah I had kind of guessed basically it, yeah I know it's not not exactly a huge leap in logic that it was an AI I do appreciate that they took the effort they made the effort to to come up with you know an an actual proper I forget. Let's see if I can find it real quick. So it is... Okay, I am just about at the right point. So, it, it, there we go. Kevin stands for Knowledge Enhanced Visual Interconnectivity Nexus. That's, that's great. That really just fits absolutely perfectly. And... You know, I, I really like, you know, she has to sign an NDA and then guards. And it's like, why did you make me sign the NDA? You know, and the NDA is like, you know, just extremely long, you know. And, you know, why did you make me sign an NDA if you're just going to call security anyway? And he's like, everyone has to sign the NDA, you know, which is, it's, it's a good, it's a good joke. Because it really is like, yeah, everyone who has a Marvel, an MCU project has to sign this NDA and just, yeah. And, yeah, it was fun to see her fight the guards, and, yeah, I really like that Kevin fight, that the, the AI has a cap on, like, Kevin Feige has when he does interviews. I, I don't think I've ever seen him in interview without uh, a cap, you know, so th that's, yeah. And, you know, she criticizes the MCU formula, points out they have to go beyond that. And, yeah, this show is an example of them going beyond that. And, the you know, I like, you know, she says, can we agree that it's a legal comedy? Well, I'd like to make my closing argument. Oh, haha, I see what you did there. Now, yeah, and, you know, manages to convince the AI to change the ending. And, yeah, we don't get a big action ending this show doesn't, like, it, it doesn't make any sense for this show to have that. Like, when has this show been about She-Hulk, like, beating people up? There's been scenes of it, sure, but it's not, like, you know, comparatively, like, ah, uh, let's see, um, Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do, you know, Captain America and the Winter Soldier. It starts out being called uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, but, you know, the end title card announces him. As, yeah. Part of that is the, the uh, what's his name again? Um, John Walker. 
this thing of like he's trying to prove that he's just as good as Steve Rogers and you know he's really frustrated you know he he's devastated emotionally when he loses a fight against the Dora Milaje which like dude everyone loses against the anyway you know he's like they weren't even super soldiers and you know he takes the the serum and ends up killing someone and this you know that's of um you know, we need to see John Walker fight because that is part of, you know, again, that that was a big part of, you know, Steve Rogers gives a good speech, also kicks ass. You know, there, yeah, he kicked a lot of ass over the course of the movies that he was in. And, yeah, it makes sense for John Walker to also do that. But Jennifer Walters, this this really isn't that kind of thing at all. And, you know, Daredevil comes home to the family. What adult woman doesn't want that from a potential partner? And, you know, I really, you know, at, at first it's like, uh, he's, yeah, he's, he's handling the, these ridiculously personal questions fine. But nope, it's, you know, he's like, this is not how I, I didn't see the conversation going there. And, you know, her father's like, all the conversations are going to go. You know, just yeah, that's a that's a good like father and real real father-in-law energy there. You know, just it's g gently like saying, you know, you got you have to be good enough for this. If you're gonna be with my daughter, you have to be good enough. But also kind of supportive, like you know, he's not like get out of my house. He's like you you'll see, you'll get used to it, kind of thing. You know, just yeah. And Smug Hulk shows up. I, I really appreciate she actually put that in her her smartphone contact. You know, he is Smug Hulk, not Smart Hulk there. And yeah, Smug Hulk shows up and introduces his son Scar. So that theory was indeed right. And yeah, definitely does look like this. If this isn't teeing up for World War Hulk... I don't even know how to, like, this is just such a pitch perfect, yeah, just, yeah. And she Hulk gets her job back, says she will go after people like Todd as a lawyer and a Hulk, both. And refuses to answer, who are you wearing today? And, you know, the reporter calls her the difficult diva of law. Wow. How is she difficult? She answered, like, most of your questions, but, yeah, you know, that's the... And, and yeah, Diva, isn't that like a, a female wrestling... I, I know, I know it's also a, like a, you know, female actress thing, uh, actress thing, but I feel like I've heard, I don't, I don't know, pretty much, I know almost nothing about wrestling, but, you know, yeah, a while back, the Spoony one, who's, you know, I am not going to get into the overall but anyway he made a bunch of videos where he talked about wrestling and there was a time where I'd watch him talk about anything so I heard him talk about wrestling I feel like I heard that diva is like a wrestling female wrestler thing so so yeah you know that's basically it no matter how much ass you kick no matter how you know like you know they have to like project of a real like confidence and and you know like yeah they they kick ass and they look good doing it and they're divas you know which is like i don't know maybe it's not an insult in wrestling to use the term diva but certainly if you're talking about an actress and you're using the term diva you're not giving a compliment i believe the term now is queen and the, you know the the credits have I, I was it was it record it was it was someone at the Blonsky you know grabbing chickens for chicken blood like Sarazen would put in he did say he missed it and post credits Wong frees Emil again and you know he's apparently just going to live at Kamartaj now which I have we ever heard if there is if they have any jurisdiction over. Because I feel like, uh, I mean, I guess maybe they wouldn't hand him out. Yeah, and anyway, 
absolutely amazing finale. This is one of the best finales for an MCU Disney Plus show. And as usual, great video on the episode by Jesse Gender. You know, I've been criticizing misogynists a lot. I honestly, I, I think I can understand why a number of misogynists say that, you know, oh, this is a show just that just hates men. I mean, when you look at the villainous men on this show, you know, they're intentionally sadistic. They kill countless people. Some of them attempt genocide to kill entire planets, half of the entire universe. Many of them, all they want is power and money. Oh, wait, no, that's the MCU is written by, directed by, and starring men. Nearly all of the men in the leads and major roles have character flaws. Some of them end up doing villainous things, like attempt to defeat other heroes. So I guess the misogynists who hate that kind of thing on this show just resent being asked, to empathize with women, seeing stories about by and for women. Maybe they deep down know that the men on this show are more realistic villains, and there are tons of them, and they make women's lives so much more difficult for no good reason when they aren't literally killing them. Maybe they recognize more than they like of the show's villains in themselves and men they respect. So, Currently, it's not clear if there will be a season two. Uh, let's see. I'm going to Google it right now, and it says, at the time of writing, Disney Plus has not renewed She-Hulk Attorney at Law for season two. And there's like, I saw that, uh, let's see. Mm. Uh, okay, I, I know I read something about that the people who, you know, yeah, I, I think it was the show creator and the writers and such, they didn't make, you know, when, when they made for the this season, they weren't working from a, from, from the idea that there would be a season two. So, you know, it's possible, but it's, you know, it's not... And yeah, it doesn't really need to. I'd, I'd be happy to see more. But, you know, the the story... Yeah. Honestly, I guess Jennifer Walters could show up in, in Daredevil Born Again, maybe? Because, yeah, yeah, kind of looked like they were dating there at the end. But, yeah. Either way, you know, I'd be, I'd, I'd be happy to watch more She-Hulk. I guess I should just briefly, yeah, so, so yeah, some some things that I can only say when going into spoilers, so I'm not going to be saying these in the review, which I keep spoiler free. Yeah, so ultimately, the there are definitely the, yeah, so the, the intelligentsia thing, the, this whole thing of, you know, yeah, it started, it started really early, I guess. Was it episode two? Maybe episode three, where we saw, you know, all these YouTube comments. I think it was just at, at first, you know, of all this misogyny. You know, yeah, all the all the misogyny of the of the show. You know, the the ultimate payoff on all of that is, you know, Jennifer Walters. Yeah, you know, she if if, you know, if a misogynist breaks the law you know, she's going to go after it. And that is, like, in real life, there are a lot of cases where misogynists will get off either scot-free or with very, very little in the way of consequences. Where if they'd done the... If they'd done the same to men, there would be consequences. Uh, let's see the... Yeah, the this thing of, you know, Jennifer... Yeah, Jennifer wanting control over the show also has, you know, major payoff in this episode. And that really, you know, ultimately Kevin, the AI, says that she won't, they won't meet again. But, you know, she did at least get the, the, ah, what's the word? She accomplished the, the thing she especially wanted to there. And so... 
Smug Hulk ends up, you know, basically the only thing is just the, the storyline, you know, other than their scenes in the first episode. Right, and, and uh, episode two, I think it was, when she, you know, she had already made her decision, but she just wanted to tell him that she was going to be representing Emil. And, yeah, ultimately that was just, you know, gotta, gotta forward the Smug Hulk story at least a little bit. That is, you know, it's the MCU. Yeah. And the, let's see, what was the other, uh, I guess that is... Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure there's anything else that would require spoilers. Yeah, I'm just going to say, you know, the the I, I felt like they really put Jen through the ringer and Tatiana Maslany, fantastic performance all the way through. Like, you know, there, there are... A number of actors who can't do all of these things at least not this well you know whether she's like really feeling like things are going her way or she's feeling like there are obstacles or she's feeling like she's lost everything like in this episode you know she like the the way that you know yeah her performance as she realizes all these negative um, yeah, all the yeah, all these consequences to her hulking out, you know, yeah, she's yeah, it's she's really devastated. And yeah, really, really like the, the supporting cast. I really do like that Ah, is her name Mallory, maybe? The the other lawyer, I really like that they didn't turn her into a villain. Like, I guess the only villain the only female villain in this entire show was basically um it's right on the tip of my tongue um titania i think um and it was basically just this thing of you know don't exploit your charisma and women's insecurity to peddle you know all this beauty stuff that women shouldn't need you know and yeah, um, I think that is everything that I had to say. So I guess it will be a little while. Let's see, what was the next? Uh, I swear I'm not gonna spend forever on this. So the let's see, um, I guess. The um, yeah, that was the the final streaming series for Phase Four and Phase Five, right? Season Two of What If, which is set to be early next year, so it will be a little while before there is more. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this while it lasted, and you're looking forward to, you know, what if season two, that's, I'm looking forward to, Secret Invasion, holy crap, I am there, I, I had, yeah, so psyched, so stoked, cannot wait to see that, so, I completely botched my outro, so I'm just gonna shorten it to catch you next time.